Hi hey guys, this is Adamus. Um, welcome to LEGO Marvel's Avengers. And we will be, if memory serves me correctly, playing as Thor. Going through the whole Thor to break Loki out of Asgard, yada yada yada. And apparently, for some stupid reason... Okay, here we go. <laughs> Alright, so now let's see. Um, Alright, oh, bugger, yeah. I've forgotten which one it is. Um, okay, yes, we shall go to space. And yes, we shall go kick some Asgardian ass. Um, that being said, who's your favourite Asgard character? i got to say I like Heimdall. Um, um, Odin pisses me off like he would not believe. Uh, his wife... While Thor was helping us track down Loki, we asked him about any potential threats to Midgard, but sorry, Earth. One of his stories was about an ancient race called the Dark Elves, led by Malekith, who attempted to use something called the Aether to bring darkness to the Nine Realms. It sounded kind of serious, but Thor assured us it was all settled thousands of years ago. Why do I still have a bad feeling about this? Long before the birth of light, there was darkness. And from that darkness came Malekith, a dark elf who millennia ago sought to return our universe back into one of eternal night. Using the power of the Aether, an ancient force of infinite destruction, my father vanquished Malekith in a mighty war. It was a tale he recounted so often that he truly lived up to the name King Bor. At the climax of the battle, the Aether was destroyed. Or so we believed until Jane Foster, Thor's girlfriend from the wrong side of the Bifrost, somehow managed to stumble upon it, waking an ancient evil from his slumber, with only one layabout to defend her. And my favorite son in prison, <laughs> Asgard was in more peril than it had ever faced. All right, so here we go again, guys. Present yourself. No <laughs> He's knitting. <laughs> oh, <my word. laughs> okay. Very well, you do not have my word. It's as if they resent being in prison. There's no pleasing some creatures. Okay, all right, so let's... Okay. All right. So let's go bash the living crap out of some stuff. Okay. All right. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder who that guy is. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, that's right, because need some assistance? Yeah, sure. gotcha. Okay, and you might want to take the stairs to the left. How can a man be so casual when faced with this chaos? He always was one for mischief. Be thankful, my dear friend, for he's doing nothing but merely knitting. Okay. Take the stairs to the left as soon as I deal with this git. Ok. 
Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay, and... Oh, bugger. Okay, so oh, that's right, we have got two studs, studs, studs. Okay. Alright. How come they managed to make the cutest little Okay, sorry mate. Thought you shouldn't bash your friends. Okay, here we go. You want me to put the hammer down? Yeah, he just put the hammer down. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. Splendid work, my friend. Never thought I'd have to break myself out of the dungeon. Oh, one swing of my trusty axe would have us out of here in no time. Okay. Sure. Yeah, okay. Now, anything interesting or shall we go up here? And there is an old Chinese saying, I think it is, may you live in interesting times. And I think whoever decided the kind of life that Thor was going to have is definitely someone who agreed with that saying. Okay. Alright, so now let's So that's the up there. Now Yeah, and does this hang on, hang on.
Okay, there we go. And then now we've just now we need to destroy that one. And just go pinch these beautiful blue studs here. And some more studs. And then here we go. Thor, I've got this completely under control. Is that why everything's on fire? <laughs> I love that. That's a good question. <laughs> Okay, now I wonder if she's a Valkyrie. I forget her name. I know that she's his sister. Where the hell am I? Okay. Okay, there we go. Yes. There's an old saying, another one about how the graveyards are littered with people who said that. Sorry to be a little bit of a realist in a Lego game, but you know, come on, you stupid girl. I love the... I love the flowers, it's awesome. Okay... Okay, so let's go... Okay, so he's doing the bad guy thing of escaping, and we follow the little stud. Strange fellows, these. I'm impressed by their resilience to my charming smile. I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> I'm not okay. Surprised. After you managed to consume four wild boars, six pheasants, a side of beef, and two caskets of broth, one must not fight on an empty stomach, man. So that is. Oh god, what's his name? Um, Volstagg, that's right. Volstagg the Voluminous. Okay, now guys, in a few seconds I am going to need to leave it there. Now, if you guys like what I'm doing, uh, let me know, okay? And, um, you know, if you like the videos, you know, give them some likes, yada yada yada, um, comments, all that kind of stuff, let me know what you'd like to see, okay, and I shall see you in a moment, okay?